times are tapped up, and let's play Investor, a Max Games game about a green blob thing that kills people. It's a puzzle platformer, and uh, there's a bunch of levels, like 40 or something. Human Colony 315B. Two rival factions occupy the planet, sharing its resources. The fragile peace is about to be broken by a new biological weapon designed to exploit the strengths of the enemy. The Infestor is released. You are the Infestor, a green little adorable blob thingy. You can use the Z key or the up arrow to jump. I don't prefer the up arrow at all. Use the pipe to complete the level, yeah! Pretty much all you do is you use these colonists, you press X, control them, and they always have little abilities. These normal ones jump fast and jump high and move fast. And almost any level will just involve around, revolve around you exploiting the colonists to get to your goal. The controls are very nice and smooth, and I like the the soundtrack and the graphics are very nice. And they mesh well together. If you haven't noticed, these little spiky things that are electrified for some reason are not good, so don't touch them. And you can jump extra high by releasing from your host while jumping. Sort of like jumping off of Yoshi in Mario Bros. You get a super high jump just once. These little construction worker guys can push boxes, but they don't jump very far. So, yeah, you need these colonists to get around for the most part. At least in the earlier levels. There's more than just a couple kinds of colonists to use. And I like how they don't even notice you. They're just like, oh, it's a green blob thing that's been murdering people. I'll just stand around and scratch my butt. Literally. Wee. Oops. It's not what you're supposed to do, but whatever. You're supposed to push that box onto here, but you don't really have to. Because you can do the super jump. Oh, looks like we need that construction worker guy. Wee. Oh. Wee. Let's try that again. Wee. There you go. Third time's the charm. Fun fact, if you, ow. If you kill the human under you, you still stay alive, you just pop off of them. So it can be sort of an extra hit. But as long as you don't need the colonist anymore. There you go. That's how you're supposed to do that one. Or better, may, better yet, maybe you wouldn't even get hit, but... I don't know. There's going to be some timing involved with these little laser shooty thingies. I guess they're not really lasers, they're just kind of pellets or bullets or something, I don't know. Derp. That was very bad timing. Oh well. If you time it right, you should be able to get up there with this guy. Because he can run faster so we can go through those three things with relative ease. Wee. See? In the worst case, even if you do get hit by those shots, you have an extra shot as long as you have a person. As long as you're infestoring them. Let's get this construction guy. Hey, buddy. Aren't you just the cutest little psychopathic murderer creature? Look at him. He's so cute. Wee. Oh, yeah, these guards shoot lasers at you. Well, bullets or something. And they run and jump pretty fast, too, so they're pretty helpful. The one thing I don't like is that when you get into something, you press X to, you know, possess something. And then you press C to leave it. But I really don't like the switching of that control. It seems like going in and out should be the same control. Because I'm always hesitant to press X. Because, you know, that's a major button. But when you're bleh, possessing these guys, you got to press X to attack. I just always overthink it a little bit and worry about what if I press, you know, whatever other button instead of X. I'd just rather that C always be shoot and X is always go in or out of the enemy. Speed this little dude. Levels aren't that hard at the start, of course, but then you get a lot more trickier. And these guys will shoot at you. These are the first guys that actually take notice that you're now you know, possessed. They can't shoot very close, apparently. 
they uh, finally enemies start realizing, oh, that green blob is murdering everyone. Maybe I should do something about it. These guys are still just like derp. And they're just kind of like yeah. I'll just get possessed. I wasn't doing anything else tonight anyway. I'll just get possessed. May as well. Okie dokie. Push that box. Jump. See, easy as pie. We've got more shooty human people. And once they start shooting at you, you have to leave their line of sight or they keep shooting. So be careful around these guys. But one shot kills all enemies. So. You don't actually need that colonist over there. I think maybe they're actually slightly faster than the guards. I honestly don't know. Surprise. Oh, what's that say? Watch out for droids. Yeah, the gray guys are droids. Can't possess them. They're buttholes. I guess these guys jump a little higher. Oops. That was not what you're supposed to do. You see, that's what I'm talking about with the control switch. Anyway. The colonists jump a little higher than the guards actually do. And they may run faster. I'm not sure about that one. So... Yeah, you gotta use the colonist for this one. Wee. Wee. Okay. More boxes to push. Not sure what sort of facility they were operating here. It mostly revolved around, you know, scaffolding and boxes. If you have a human, you can approach the guards a lot safer. Because, uh, button, ah. See, I always overthink that shooting action. That's annoying. Use overseers to open doors. This guy is the overseer. He has a monocle, so he's pretty awesome. He opens these little door thingies because he's smart enough to operate a computer. All the other ones are just like, I don't know how to press enter button. So they can't open doors, unfortunately. Boxes. And the overseer has a really lame jump, just like your normal character. So you gotta use boxes to get him around sometimes. Raw run through. Eee. Okie dokie. We'll finish level 20 and we'll call this a video. This game goes out pretty fast, actually. What the heck, I'll just continue a little bit more. So we need an overseer. And there he is. Some of the levels are more based around the platforminess or, you know, quicker time jumps than uh, really puzzle solving. Like this one, for instance, and the last one. But I like that it sort of oscillates between the two, and though really, it's never that, oops, puzzle-tacular. You, you'll never rack your brain too much. It's more about the timing. Very rarely will you really have to stop and be like, hmm, do I need to possess the construction worker to push that box, or do I need to possess the guard to shoot that box until it is pushed by bullets. That doesn't really happen. Also, you can you can jump into those when they're retracted for some reason. Spikes don't hurt as long as they're, you know, on the ceiling. It's when they're not on the ceiling. That's when they hurt. We Need to jump over and get that overseer guy. See, this is what a, the, the puzzle this is not very much. Yes. You know, you can generally just run right through, and you'll know what to do, but the uh, challenge just comes from timing and being tricksy about the guards and stuff. Like that. Stupid android. Yeah, just go a certain distance away, then they'll, oops, 
See? That's what I'm... I, I just hate that button switch. You're introducing unnecessary thinking, and that's really never very good. Oh, well. I guess that does just fine. Let's go fake out that guard properly this time. And you really should always approach guards from behind. But, whatever. Okay, I overthought again. That was a problem. Oh, whatever. Yeah, messing with the consistency of controls is really never a good idea. Oh no, we got conveyor belts pushing the other way. It's very fortunate that jumping near those spike things does not hurt you. Otherwise, I would be dead meat. Or dead blob of slime stuff. Yes. Jet scouts can be used to overcome very tall obstacles. And they don't actually react to you at all either. Press the jump button. Yeah. So these guys are fun. Typical double jumper guy. Wait. What did I do? I must have double jumped early. I just need an overseer. Get in that door. Yep, derp. Oopsie daisy. Oh, and if you mess up, you can just tap R to restart too. But generally speaking, you can die pretty easy enough, so I usually just suicide. I mean, I'd have to move my fingers in order to hit the R button. I mean, you just can't expect me to do something like that. I gotta move. That's that's three keys up. That's ridiculous three keys, including the key I'm currently touching. That's a lot of keys. That's like a keychain's worth of keys. If you can keep keyboard keys on a keychain. Oh! I didn't even see that bullet. Oh well. See, well, I almost reached for the R button there, but see, once again, it was just easier to just die. Derp! Okay. That, that was definitely my fault. So probably wait until after they shoot before you jump. Generally good advice. Unless they're shooting at your feet, in which case jump before they shoot. But that goes without saying. I hope. Yeah. Shoot that box. Wee. Okay. Overseer. Blah, blah, blah. Gonna go say hi. See, he doesn't even panic or anything. He's just like, yeah, I have a monocle. What are you gonna do to me? Oh, God. My face. Oh, well. Can't get over there. Let's see what we got. Ah, we got Jetpack Face. Hello, Mr. Jetpack Face. Oops. Hello, Mr. Suicide Face. Actually, if you had a jetpack in your face, that wouldn't be a very helpful jetpack. I mean, if it was actually in part of your face, you know, wouldn't the thrusters point like forwards? You would like thrust backwards. That's not a helpful jetpack at all. It's pretty much the worst possible position for a jetpack. But I'm not a jetpack designer, so you know, maybe there's some extra extra considerations there. I don't know. Stupid android, a robot, or whatever they're supposed to be. I don't know. We I like how that nobody flees or anything. They're just kind of like, yeah, I'm just gonna stand around. They're too lazy to even move. They're even lazier than I am with pressing the R button. They're like, run? Well, sure, it'll save my life, but I'll be all tired, and I might even get kind of sweaty, and it's just... It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. I also like those same four birds flying in the background every single level. Those birds are cool. It's obviously not that much difference in uh, background or level appearance, but it still looks pretty dang good. Uh, you know, it's just a short little flash game. But for only having one flavor of levels, looks very good. Shoot you in the face. Shoot you in the barrel. Oh, I wanted to shoot you. One thing is that you can't jump down. Oh, you can destroy those. Huh. Yeah, you can't jump down these to the best of my knowledge. No, you can't. We. 
So you gotta be tricksy and do some careful falling in some areas like that. And we've got bird floaty shooty things. I don't know what to call those. Aside from bird floaty shooty things. Which I doubt is their intended name. Hey buddy. Whee. See, the puzzles really don't get that much harder. The platforming does, but not ridic it's never ridiculous. You know, the worst you got is some um, timing like that. I haven't finished the game yet, but I don't know if it ever does get that much more challenging than this. I think I'll just go ahead and finish it in one shot since I don't think there's that much left. I think there's maybe 40 levels? I don't know. Honestly, I was going to play the whole game before I recorded each video, but whatever. It's not that hard. Whee! Just be careful. Oh, that was slightly close. Oh well. It worked. That's what matters. Sport. They should really reconsider having these slime accessible tunnels in every single region here. That's partly their downfall. The other part is their complete inability to flee or do anything to prevent alien invasion from a single alien, which is kind of sad. I mean, if it was two aliens, you know, you'd have a little bit of an excuse. Or maybe if it was that alien from Alien, you know. But this little guy... I mean, you can probably just step on him and he'd be a goner. Well, maybe I shouldn't give them that idea. It's my idea. It's copyrighted. Just don't even think about it. Stop. It's, don't even have heard it. Go back in time and plug your ears and stop having heard that statement. Okay, now we're being kind of tricksy. Though most of that was just me fumbling with the controls rather than anything actually difficult. I thought it was going to be a conveyor belt going forward, which would have made it kind of tricksy, but it wasn't. Oh, and like most games like this anymore, it's got to walk through like built in or something. It's probably just a link to a YouTube video, but oh well. These guys, oops. As I was about to say, these guys aren't very challenging. Just don't stand still, which is exactly what I was doing while showing it to you. But, uh. Yeah, they're pretty dang easy to avoid. Wee. 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 Okay. Now, there were only, like, around 40 levels, right? I don't want to be doing this for, like, a half freaking hour, but. I thought it was ending pretty soon. Well, that was challenging. Oh, you're probably supposed to shoot that thing. Oh well. Not a high priority. Unless there was something else I was supposed to shoot. Nah. You could have made that a bit easier if you came up here first with the guy with the gun. But, I, it's not really a problem. Just keep moving and that guy really can't get a beat on you. No, I thought the level would like wrap around there or something. I was like, Trixie? Then I forgot the game just scrolls. I'm not on the NES where scrolling is physically impossible. Can I get up there? Oh, I get it. I just didn't want to sacrifice my jumpy guy. Can I just push these into these things? Nah, they're solid. Oh well. See, what you need to do to do the puzzles is always so obvious. But the platforminess is very fun, even if the puzzle part isn't very challenging at all. Derp! I thought it would be cool and make that jump easy. Then I forgot I'm supposed to be using that guy. Oh, right. Got a suit. Crap. Got a suicide. But not like that. Derp. Not like that either. Oh, and I like this one-on, one-off kind of pattern there he's got with those first three cannons. Sort of neato. Whee! Okay. 
Let's not fail horribly this time. There's an 80% chance I will not fail horribly this time. 80%. So you keep trying to press X, even though I know it's not X. Okay. It's not suicide this time. Yeah! See? All you have to do is not commit suicide, and you will win. Unless the game is called Suicide. And that is just a game I, I do not recommend. I mean, you never really win. And if you do win, it's really boring. There is absolutely zero replay value to that game. I it's just terrible. Wee. Okay. Oh, I guess I have a human, so that wasn't that challenging. I could have taken a hit. But I didn't want to take a hit. I'm kinda of surprised the slime can move on those conveyor belts at all. Maybe he's got some flagellas to help him move around or something, I don't know. So we need a box pushy guy. I'll possess you just for the heck of it. We Okay. Oh, I can't shoot that. Okie dokie. Push this over here. And we're done. Oh, Trixie. You got one of those things going on with the running around and bolts being shot at you. I see how we're going with this. Let me see what this is. Uh huh. Those can really only squish you, I guess. No matter how you jump through them, they don't seem to hurt. Let's look at that. Oh, well. It's a bit forgiving. I must admit. No! Okay, wait. I can salvage this. I'm not sure if that shoot. I was gonna try and get that shooter guy, but yeah, I don't think it's necessary at all. You do not want to fall in that pit. The infestor was designed for the simple purpose of eliminating the enemy, but along the way created a mind of its own. It sees the armies of men it was supposed to destroy, and set out to conquer the world. The end. Question mark? In cursive? Well, that was Infestor. Also, the level things are very glitchy. For some reason, all of these numbers in this quadrant here are messed up. I don't really know why. But yeah, it's only showing the first letter, not letter, number of each thing. But only in this quadrant, so I don't know. Anyway, this has been Infestor. It's a pretty awesome game.